guess in the same vein as like the ego and narcissism and stuff, is it common for artists to you know approach you in public about or on the internet about reviews, positively or negatively? Um, yeah, I mean, it, I've had some artists. Honestly, my most negative interaction with artists, for whatever reason, have been with artists who I haven't even covered. Um, I remember for a second uh, that band were were going at me online just shortly before they said that horrible shit about trans people, and then the whole internet just like canceled that shit. Um, and and Azealia Banks had gone at me a few times and, and, like before before I even reviewed her music. You know, I ended up reviewing it, but like before I even reviewed it, uh, a few other people have like you know attacked me, but nothing like so fucking major. Like there was a moment with Mike Dean. There was a moment with Riff Raff, both of which you know kind of like were a little funny in the moment, but nothing like too crazy. But uh, but a majority of the times I've ever been approached, even with people who I've reviewed not so positively. Um, it's mostly just been positive and friendly and chill because I, th I think most people know that I'm not coming from like a super nasty place or I'm not like trying to hate on them or, or whatever, ruin their careers or ruin their lives. But most of the time when artists try to reach out to me, it's typically pretty chill, just a nice back and forth of just, hey, last album was good, let me know when the next one's coming out or something, you know. Uh, but mostly I, I just try to... Um, Keep a bit of a distance. If you look through my phone, there's very little, if any, traces of like, hey, here's Danny Brown's phone number. Hey, here's fucking, you know, this other guy's phone number. Here's this other guy's phone number. Because it's, I'm not up all night texting with these people. I'm not, you know, asking them how their day is. <laughs> because I have, to, I have to, to review their shit, you know, and I can't become their best friend. I, th I think the, the closest I've, I've come as far as like regular conversation um, or contact, like maybe like once a month or so, uh, in the past year has probably been with JPEG Mafia. Just back and forth with him every once in a while, you know, just saying hi and just asking when new stuff's coming out, or just you know catching up and saying what's up. And it's funny because maybe like just this past summer, a bunch of fans of mine went through his Twitter and found like an old tweet where he was just tweeting at me telling me how much I fucking suck. That's not even the first time that's ever happened. You know, where it's like I've given somebody a positive review and then they're like, hey man, thanks. You know, you really kind of like brought the record to a lot of people, I appreciate that. And then I see a tweet from you two or three years ago, or even saw the tweet two or three years ago that said like, hey, fuck that Fantano motherfucker. You know, because honestly, it's like, I'm not, I'm not here, it's nice if we're friendly, but I'm not here to be your best friend. You know, ultimately, my devotion is to my audience. You know, ultimately, like, you guys come before whether or not I know motherfucker A, B, C, or D. Because ultimately, like, you know, unless you're showing up at my place and, like, you know, buying me Christmas gifts and, you know, you're, you're with me at my side on my dad's deathbed. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, really worried about the personal impact of my reviews on your shit. I know that sounds like a little callous and everything. The thing is, to feel otherwise would be to do you guys a disservice. I guess when it comes to negative reviews, anybody can get it, okay? It's nothing personal, you know, but also the, the positive reviews are nothing personal. It's not because I like you. you know, it's not because I think you're cool. It's because I think you made a good album. Over this past um, uh, album review cycle, this album promotion cycle, uh, the Brockhampton boys have not been sharing my review of Iridescence, and it's, it's not because they hate me and it's not because you know we're not good buddies. It's because it's business. You know they don't want to promote a review that's slightly critical of the work that they're doing because they want the perception of the work they're doing to be as positive as possible. You know they're not mad at me over that review no more than they're in love with me over my positive reviews. They just appreciate what I do in the same way that I appreciate what they're doing. If it came to a point where they felt like my critiques or observations of their music were either personal on an attack type level, or I wasn't really listening to what they were doing, their opinion of what I do would probably change. Much like my opinion of what they would do would change if I felt like they weren't really putting their all into what they're doing. The music industry is small, and a lot of people are friendly, but I wouldn't say we're, we're besties, you know? Because I, I think that that tends to um, not, not necessarily bring out the best in, in everybody. Because, you know, again, I didn't come in here to rub shoulders.